Uh, just kind of reply to Jay Chuck. So I'm kind of using YouTube like to chit chat back and forth, which they don't like. But uh, uh, this one I uploaded about over the months as it was taking place, and uh, so I'll try to stick to the point about GPS or a satellite phone if you're in distress, stuff like that, and the route they took. Okay, now my big bitch the whole time was that. Um, I was able to determine that if he said he went in and found the truck, that means he had to drove in. And yet on the news, they were showing that the vehicle was parked up here and showing the clips, everybody walking in at the trailhead, and they said nothing. Even to this day, they said nothing. There was no confirmation about this route until a few hours ago. Uh, also, it's a gruesome case to look at because it involves... Uh, you can't comment on, it, comment on it without almost like you're blaming the dead. Okay, now people ended up dead, so there, something was done wrong. And so, to help people in the future, not just blame the dead, but to try to avoid this happening to other hikers, uh, here's, here's some ramblings. Okay, so I figured, okay, the, the truck must have been parked here near the Mine Horse Hostel. So if that was the case, that that means they went down the hill, down down the hill, down to here. And if they did that even in the morning, and started out at room temperature, if they did that even in the morning, you're not coming back up that hill. You're going to be dead. You, you're not coming back up. Now, here's what turns out what they did. Okay, they, they park here with baby in a backpack, dog, and the wife, and their intent was to do this loop. Okay, not down here, this is fatal. Go down here, eight o'clock in the morning, go down here, mess around, you're not coming back up that hill. That, that's what I thought. I thought, well, they must have went down here. Not up here, but down here. They're, you're not coming back up that hill. And so here's what they did. They parked, they walked along downhill, is still room temperature about here and then get you know somewhere somewhere near the highway or close to it and uh, you know work over and as they work up the river you're still walking along relatively level and there's a stream even if it was stagnant the temperature of that water ain't going to be no 110 degrees okay so they come along here with baby in backpack dog and wife and come along here, and uh, by the time they get to here, the temperatures would have been approaching 100, 100, and they were still taking pictures and stuff. So where's the correct place to uh, turn back to save yourself? I'll, I'll show you where. The correct place to turn back was in uh, Sacramento, when they got out of bed, they shouldn't have got out of bed. That was the correct place to turn back. The temperatures it was known were going to be over 100. That was the correct place to turn back, not to come up and we're near death. Where can we race back to the highway and we're almost dead? But uh, anyway, so they, here's the, where the bodies were found. See, see this trail? You're not going down there, you're coming back up. But uh, they went down here, come up. By here, it would have been about 100. And it's too late to turn back. You could have done it. Like they get along here, and he was starting to get distressed. We're out of water, we're overheated. And then they're looking at this hill. And the, the final text where we need help, we're burning up in the heat. We're up here looking at this hill. Well, the car's up there with those cold beers in it. Well, they couldn't get to the cold beers. Uh, if, if you're not going to make it there, those cold beers don't mean nothing. But uh, that's it. I was shocked to finally find this out. This route that they went all the way down here and come up, and it's 100 by here. 
and by the time they get here, 110 degrees. Also, another thing I want to mention is, uh, that I would mentioned before, is uh, reverse uh, chill factor. <clears throat> okay, now we hear about it in the cold, that while well, the wind is blowing, it's going to be like it's 40 degrees uh, colder and freeze you to death even faster. Well, when the temperature is 110 degrees, your body temperature is not even 100. And so here they're baking in sunlight, being baked alive in direct sun, 110 degrees. Plus, there could have been wind. Okay, well, that wind is going to be a reverse wind chill factor and burn you up even faster. Burn you up even faster. So, anyway, that, that's it. I just wanted to point this out, that it turns out after, you know, six months, they finally released this route, which was kept secret from everyone. Uh, GPS, they weren't lost. They, they weren't lost. GPS, satellite phone, would have meant nothing, because when they, they were still taking selfies, like along here, and by the time they get to here, you're dead. You can, you can send messages, send help. You're, Unless you go back down there and flail in the river, you're going to be dead. So GPS is not automatic thing, satellite, phone or not, that the helicopters are going to come for you in 110 degrees heat where you're going to be dead in 30 minutes. But uh, no, they weren't lost. No, they weren't, they weren't lost at all.